So there you going guys, I'm, uh, it's a Saturday, I'm just doing some maintenance on some of the uh, kit we go off road and I was just doing some maintenance on my tow 4 or big haul hand winch so I thought I would uh, just show you how it works since uh, I had it out so this uh, Prado that I have doesn't have a, a winch bar on it so I haven't put a winch in it I will one day but uh, it's just a matter of getting around to it um, so I normally just chuck this uh, hand winch in so um, I'll show you uh, show you in the box and I'll, I'll do a quick pull out here on the tree and uh, show you how it works. So this is uh, the box it's in, it's not that big a box 300 by 300 by about 600 and something wide um, sits in there and I just throw this up on the roof rack, it weighs about 30 kilos so it's pretty heavy so there it is in there, the winch is on the top and the cable is uh, underneath and I'll uh, pull this out of it quickly get it out, so the cable's just under there and that's just a bit of rubber and it's a steel cable and it's quite long and thick so it's pretty strong and uh, yeah you just feed that through the winch and, and pull it there's some advantages and disadvantages which I'll go through of these sorts of winches um, so let's get it outside and uh, hooked up to the car so the cable just sits in here and you, be, you pretty well just pull it out it doesn't kink that much And that's it, so that's out, so you can close that and move that away. Then the next thing you need to do is hook up this uh, winch to your trunk protector. I'm going to do a single pull on this one first to show, so uh, this is just a straight pull. And we'll go over the advantages and disadvantages of these. So one advantage is, is, is they're, they're um, fairly cheap, and you can use them in... Uh, any vehicle so you can put these into a soft rotor take it on any, any vehicle you can pull backwards you can pull forwards you can pull sideways they're offset by some quite big um, quite big uh, negatives obviously you, you have to carry them around I don't think they can pull anywhere near as much as a, an electric winch uh, you have to be reasonably fit and have some water on board because they are quite uh, quite an effort to use them um, especially you know in a situation where you are stuck um, they are slow compared to an electric winch so there's some positives, but there's a lot of negatives, hence the reason why most people go to an electric winch. So to get it ready, you push, uh, this can be quite difficult, you push this here, down and forward, like that, and that'll allow you to feed the cable up through here. So let's get the cable onto the, uh, onto the car. So we, I use a shackle on here, it's got a hook, what I tend to use a shackle and we will put the um, bow shackle through there and I put the uh, loop of the cable, uh, put the um, bolt section through that, do it up and back it off a little bit. So that's it, that's ready for a single pull and that just sits there flopping around. You then need to find the end of the cable and you feed this through the winch, it should just feed through and it should come out, it should come out at the back where you can uh, grab it and um, feed it up or down, there we go, there it comes. So there you go, that's through the winch. So as you can see it goes through there and you can see it going through the mechanism and uh, comes out the back. So now you can just pull on that until you get all of the cable through and it's tied on the car.
So as you can see now, we have the cable that's just there loose out the back and that is a straight pull onto the vehicle, onto the uh, rated recovery point. You could use a bridle, I'm just not using one for, for speed, but uh, that's what you would normally do. So let's tighten it up, see what happens. We should always stick on, stick on our um, blanket to make sure that if anything goes wrong it slows it down as much as possible. And we have a handle that has a little thing you can just pop it in and make it long. So what you do then, you just unlock this. Uh, this here, I believe, is the one that tightens, and away you go. And as that tightens up, you start to see the car move. So this is a straight pull, it's a two and a half ton winch. So there we go. So that is uh, pretty tight. You can, I'm not gonna put all the force in, but you can get some force into that. It's moving the car forward. To, un to undo it, you remove the handle from this, from that lever and you stick it onto this lever. And that's actually a shear pin in there, so you can't overdo how much force. So I'll take the handle onto here and put it onto to this handle and uh, reverse it. So that's all gone loose now. So that's the single pull, take the handle off. That's the single pull. We can release the um, cable here and pull the cable out that way. But I'm gonna bring it back around and we'll do a double pull. So this is a double pull, this is twice the amount of force and this will easily move this car with the handbrake on. There you go, there's a test or a demo of the, I think they're called a tow 4 or well, mine's a big haul, but I think the type is a tow 4 winch. They're probably the best of the hand winches, the strongest of the hand winches. So if you're looking for a winch that you can just chuck into anything, um, that can pull backwards, forwards, sideways, up, down, used as a gantry in a bush, whatever you need to do, they are a, uh, a pretty good option, but you have to be reasonably fit and uh, be able to carry the weight, about 30 kilos, and be prepared for it to take a little while. Just on one note too, um, when you're solo, they're a little harder to use, because obviously you can't be in the vehicle and use them like you can an electric winch, so 
you definitely have to make sure that when you're winching and you're outside the vehicle that you know you're winching sort of uphill so it can't get away you've uh, got contingencies in place uh, for the fact that you're not in the vehicle okay so there you go if you need one um, I got mine off Gumtree I think it cost me like a hundred dollars I think there are a few hundred dollars if you buy one new but uh, they're definitely around and available catch you next time